There is a very brave little animal in Africa called the honey badger. It's only the size of a small dog, but immediately one senses its physical power and determination. Bees sometimes build their hives in cavities under rocks where they feel safe from predators. As their name suggests, badger are very partial to honey and are relentless in their efforts to get it. The badger's commando-like raids are not without danger, for African bees are known for their ferocity. They have the reputation of being killers, and there are many recorded cases of animals and humans being stung to death. The badger shows no fear of the bees, even though it has to go deep into the hive to get the honey. Some people say it tranquilizes the bees by spraying them with its scent so they do not sting, but there's no real evidence of this. Five months ago, deep underground, a dung beetle dug a large chamber, filled it with dung and fashioned it into brood balls. She laid an egg in each ball and in time they turned into lava. Then they pupated each fully formed beetle lying silent in its flexible skin. It has been suggested the badger's snorts work like an echo sounder and that it can detect the return signals from the beetle's chambers. But how can it distinguish these from all other cavities? Most probably, the badger's incredible sense of smell is the answer. Even though the ground is very hard, somehow there must be the faintest of smells filtering up to the surface. The badger does not follow the original sloping tunnel which the beetles made, but dig straight down to the chamber. As the pupa make no noise, the only possible way known for the badger to detect them is by scent. This activity will not benefit the goshawk because there is only one pupa in each ball and there's no way the badger will leave the ball unguarded until it has finished every last bit. The length of a badger's body hanging on its outstretched legs determines the depth it can reach without falling into the hole. The badger always leaves her mark in the empty hole. Perhaps she's saying to other badgers, you're too late. A leopard is the ultimate large tree cat, perfectly at home in the branches or sliding vertically down the trunk. The kill is safe and the leopard feels he can move off to rest, believing his dinner is protected. A badger is trying to use his enormous strength to pull off a piece from the carcass of the impala, but without a good grip, it's having a difficult time. The leopard was caught napping by the unexpected intrusion of the badgers. Back at the termite mound, all is much quieter now. The genic cat is still hoping to get its regular sleeping place back, sometime. The male badger seems impatient to leave the mound. The three days and nights of courtship are over, and it's time to go in search of food. The leopard is still hanging in there, perhaps just to show who is the boss, for there is still enough meat on the dry carcass for a hungry badger, although the leopard, after such an extended meal, has no real appetite for it. The badger, with its great energy and specialized hunting ability, can exploit many sources of food, some of which are only accessible to badgers. Its arrogant and fearless nature ensures that this little animal is able to exist very efficiently in a tough world. The honey badger is clever, successful and fearless, but does it really deserve to be called a ruthless killer? <laughs>